Profit calls and the open sky beckons you to fire up your thrusters and cash in on that payday. You're serious about space trucking and want to get the most out of your purchase. Welcome immortals, I'm Vici Deo, here to go over the top 5 best cargo haulers under $300, and a special thank you to my channel members. Your support really helps me create this content, and we're starting right now. Number 5. Corsair. With asymmetric convertible wings and a large cargo hold, the Corsair adapts to harsh environments, combat situations, and hot landing zones with equal ease. The Corsair is the newest ship to be introduced amongst this list and has the most updated interior, featuring shared lockers, lockable doors, and wonderful attention to detail. As a cargo hauler, the Corsair has the lowest SCU with 72 out of the others on this this list, but offers that cargo in a convenient rear-ramped cargo bed. Further, its powerful offensive armaments and size 3 shield act as deterrence for any potential pirates. Although it has poor atmospheric handling, it has no problem maneuvering in space, and combined with its larger quantum fuel tank, can be effectively used as a medium-sized cargo hauler over even the furthest distances. For these reasons, the Corsair is number 5. Number 4. MSR. With a focus on quickly and discreetly delivering small payloads of goods or data, with features such as dedicated storage computers and a smuggler's hold, the Mercury makes a name for itself by delivering crucial information into the right hands. The MSR is an incredibly fast and agile ship, both in space and in atmospheres. It has 108 SCU in a rear-ramped cargo bay, and an additional 6 SCU in a shielded smuggler's hold off to the side. It has several massive servers internally for carrying any data, which, although not a current feature in-game, will be a valuable commodity, both sold and traded by players and NPCs. For everything from corporate espionage to jump point and mining locations and other profitable points of interest, I think the MSR is one of the coolest ships on this list. It has a really intricate interior that feels like it it could easily be someone's space home, but it has a somewhat cluttered layout and many internal doors that tend to delay entering and exiting the ship. That said, especially after data is properly introduced, this ship will be an invaluable asset. For these reasons, the MSR is number 4. Number 3. Taurus. Trading missiles and a snub fighter for additional cargo space, a quick cargo release system, security hold for smuggling, and tractor beam turret. The Taurus is the cargo workhorse you've been waiting for. The Taurus is one of the best ships in the Constellation lineup and the largest cargo hauler, bringing 168 SCU in a mid-sectioned, elevator-assisted cargo hold, with an additional 6 SCU in a shielded rear section. I really like the Taurus and think it makes one of the best cargo haulers, especially for its price. Not only does it carry a lot, but has a ton of utility and armaments at its disposal, bringing 24 missiles along with 4 gimbaled size 4 hardpoints. Further, its underslung tractor beam will allow it to quickly ferry goods on board and assist in unloading, and a quick cargo release means you can discard any unstable hulls, or as a quick deterrent if you encounter too much pirate resistance. But it's size 3 shield and top turret mean you'll be able to slug it out for a while before you have to make any tough calls. For these reasons, the Taurus is number 3. Number 2. Starfarer. A dedicated fuel platform designed to not only load, store, and protect fuel, but take in spaceborne gases and refine them aboard without ever having to land, which combined with an additional 291 SCU in a dedicated rear cargo hold means there's no limit to what you can haul. The Starfarer is the only ship on this list that lets you refine, store, and sell fuel, an especially lucrative asset in systems like Pyro, where rest stops are dangerous and few and far between. That said, the Starfarer is also the oldest ship in this list, and suffers a lot from dated design language and a confusing and difficult to navigate interior. I do suspect a future redesign will fix a lot of these problems, but it's a hard ship to enjoy in the current state. Although it does have a size 3 shield and quad size 4 gimbaled pilot hardpoints, along with three man turrets dotting its 
its exterior, but with its 291 SCU atop the amount it can store in its fuel pods, gives this ship more combined cargo by volume than any others on this list. For these reasons, the Starfarer is number two. Number one, Raylan an elegant interspecies cargo hauler, providing rugged and reliable shipping transport. Leveraging patented Gravlev technology ensures you'll turn heads just as quickly as you turn profits. The Raylan isn't currently in the game and is the only concept ship on this list. While it will increase in price, I don't suspect that it will go over $300, and it makes an especially compelling choice at its current $225 price point, bringing $300 and 20 SCU in rear-sectioned cargo pods that are reinforced and housed externally. I really like the Raylan and think it's an incredibly cool alien design, which will offer some really unique advantages with its Gravlev technology. And given that it's going to be released after the rest of this list, means it'll benefit strongly from updated design language atop ample internal amenities. For these reasons, using the Raylan is number one. But what do you think about my list? I think the inclusion of the Taurus herein highlights just how much value this ship offers, even though it's over $100 cheaper than some of the other ships I listed. In this cargo ship class, a lot of the offerings cater towards specialized cargo, like fuel or data, providing additional opportunities and potential profits over others. But are you excited for cargo hauling and future updates? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked this video, here's an Another I think you'd enjoy. Or if you want to watch more of these videos, here's the playlist. Either way, thank you, and I look forward to seeing all of you out there in the verse.